Hello and welcome to episode 5 of the BJ Report. I am your host, Bardi Asania, with me. Jericho Martinez out in the heart of Stain, Selector Massive, Dunno. Right, yeah, all day, <laughs> man. Big up, big up. Nice one. <laughs> yeah, this is getting recorded via Squadcast due to the Tier 5 lockdown here in London. Big up, Boris J. Well, let's not pick him up, up, all right? Yeah, Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, we know what you mean. In today's episode, we will be discussing... Stop right there, bud. How are you, man? Wow. How have you been? How are you keeping? Do you know what? That was so nice. I didn't even expect it. you mugged me off, the fucking prick. Hey. I was going to say something very (laughs) uncorporate on that. Yeah. So how are you, buddy, man? Talk to me, bro. I'm very well, man. I'm very well. You know, it is just hustling here every single day in the heart of London. But not really in the heart, though. Well, it's just slightly to the it's right. Like, yeah, it's literally to the right. We're going to get relocated. <laughs> well, we are... Townslow. No, no, no. They don't hate us that much. Dickhead. They'll never Dickhead. do that. <laughs> oh, no, I live they... in Kingston. Oh. Pussy. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, yeah. So, what was your day been? Chilled, relaxed. You know what I'm saying... It's been good, man. I'm having a, I'm having a, I'm having a great time. It's, it's not. So, what do you mean, more time? Okay, fine. That's. I said, are oh, you having a swell time? Oh, swell yeah. time. Okay. So, I would like to use the English okay. language. Are you having a fantastic time where you work? It's it's all right. It's not too bad. I can't complain. I get the privilege of working with Mr. Jericho Martinez twenty four seven. If you see his face, I swear. <laughs> hey, oh, he's being an asshole today. But I don't really work with you anymore. I'm on the other side now. I don't get to see you, mate. No, I know. And you don't answer my calls. It's like you're complete. It's like you're avoiding me. To be I honest, I ignore him. I have to beg you to do this podcast. He, he does. He does. You. We were supposed to do it yesterday, but I bailed on him to play COD. I, I'm listen. I'm dedicated to the audience, to this one listener that we have around the world. That's why Instagram <laughs> nearly banned you for spamming. <laughs> I was trying to promote the podcast. <laughs> you were there playing COD. You've done nothing yeah, and to you promote this got show. Got us blocked on Insta. Not Instagram. And we got blocked on I Twitter blocked too on as Twitter. well. <laughs> <laughs> I got. Blo- I am suspended from Twitter for for spamming. No, for However, indecent not exposure. Instagram. That's why he's done. I didn't know it was no, illegal. Look, though, BJ, to be fair. see, look, you... <laughs> I, I, I didn't know it was illegal. I didn't know you can't send photos out to random people. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, and when the police came to my door, I was like, I'm sorry, listen, if someone had told me you can't do it, I wouldn't have done police it. police literally at his door. <laughs> he was butt naked <laughs> with... With the syringe out of my arm. It was mental. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Mate, but yeah, he's live and well. He's live and kicking. Free bards. Done, no. Yeah, yeah. Well, I am free, so we don't need, we don't need to say that. I don't like that saying anyway, free anyone. Yeah, yeah. It's not really... They shouldn't means... be free. If... If they're inside, they should stay there. Let me tell you that for free. Stay there. You know. Because, look. Uh, I'm never going to get into this debate uh, with you. Well, good. Because you don't want to lose again. Like, in the last four episodes. All right. Anyways, my day's been (laughs) great. (laughs) Yeah, how's your week been, Mr. Martinez? How have you been? been? All right. Hustling. Just the same old shit, man. We're in the same office. We're on the same floor. You know how it is, baby. I have received a few comments. Oh, um, people me. asking me about you. Yeah. Um, just asking if you managed to buy new shoes or not. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I had to use old shoes. Oh, okay. Yeah, but, but there's no hole Which in them. Ones that didn't have they holes. Don't have holes. It no, doesn't no, have they're holes. good. No, they're just but scratched. There's up. a hole in the sole, sole, so you can't really see the hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, no. I'm off. But so. so so, so the shoes are yeah, okay, safe, especially bro. when we we live in London. Rain is inevitable. I changed to my trainers during break. FYI, no, you I don't. don't. I don't. That's a lie. No, but it's fine. It's Anyways, I'm good. I'm live and kicking. My shoes are fine. I'm ordering new sho- shoes and shirts. So yeah, shoes, shoes and shirts. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, anyways, oh yeah, we also got some feedback as well that um, you know, the chemistry is being off between me and Bards. Yeah, because we can't record next to each other. That's why we just 
No, but we're doing what it's we a can. Bit difficult. It's hard to have the banter, you know. But yeah. we do what we can. Because when you're an experienced comedian like myself... Oh my God, he's not experienced. He's just fucking <laughs> retarded me. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. No, but no, no, it is, no. no we, we, we'll work on it for sure. Absolutely. We're going to obviously take more care in each episode. Uh, and as soon as, as soon as we can record face to face, it's going to be different chemistry because the second we can do that, we'll also record it and put it on YouTube as well. Oh, yeah, that's something. Um, you get to see his ugly mug. Well, you get to see what a comedy genius like and a Filipino man trying to attempt comedy. <laughs> that's what you get I'm not funny. for free. That's the thing. I'm not funny. I'm just not prepared. Mm. <laughs> That's what I am. Great, yeah, great, on, great. All oh, right. Talk to me. What is your article for the day? Right. So this is an article that I came across on the Daily Star. Standard. Oh. Wait. Yeah, do you know yeah, what? The Daily yeah. Star growing up, mate, it was just nude pictures. No, that was the Daily Star. I skipped past those. No, no, it's just Daily Star. Yeah, it's just new pictures. I would just, when being a kid, just looking at them like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Taking a photo on your sorry, Sony Ericsson. <laughs> My Samsung D600. <laughs> With that little side yeah, speaker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, there were the days. But yeah, talk to me. Absolutely. What was, what was your article? Well, here, here we go. Well, this is from the Daily Star. Uh, this is Michael Jackson alive conspiracy erupts as identical lookalike confirms theory. Ooh. Wait. So what this is? Wait. Wait a <laughs> second. So wait. Identical. So Michael Jackson lookalike. identical. Yeah. In what theory? Conf- what theory? Confirms a theory that he's alive. How can he confirm it? Explain, please. Well, here's the thing. What? What? He said it a bit. As a joke. So someone's taking a video of him walking around in a supermarket during the day. Because he's a, he's a Michael Jackson look yeah. like. So he's got to dedicate himself 24-7 to yeah. this. So he's walking around with long hair. He looks like a... He looks like Michael Jackson on the cover of Bad during that time. Oh, with, the, the, with the red end leather, of the, 80s. The, uh, the red leather jacket? No, that's early 80s. But towards the end of the 80s. Bad. Black and red. He's white. Yeah, okay, fair. Right. <laughs> that's a good way to put yeah, he's white. it. He's that's a, a good white way black to put man. it. That's a bit mad, that. All right, yeah. So that's that, That's what it is. So he's walking around and people are, are going mad. They're going, oh my God, look at it. He looks like Michael J-. He goes, Yeah, he looks like him. It's not him. No. Now, <laughs> yeah, of course it's not him, mate. <laughs> <laughs> of course it isn't. But people, so someone's uploaded this video online and a bunch of people just. Came out of nowhere, as they say, erupted and saying, "Oh yeah, we believe that Michael Jackson is still alive." That is so stupid, mate. <laughs> People lost their noodles. I mean, there, you know. Here's the thing: I think Neil deGrasse Tyson mentions it the best with regards to flat earthers. Before, with before the internet. You maybe have one or two people talking shit, but now because of the internet, people can find other idiots around the Reddit. world. And go, oh, yeah, look, 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 we both believe in the same bullshit. That's this basically what it Join is. The fan club. Right? <laughs> Join the... So let's have a look at this. I mean, one, what is, a, what is a lookalike? What does he do? Because he can't sing like Michael Jackson. He can't produce the songs um, like Michael Jackson. That's why he's called a lookalike. Because he yeah, looks but why? like him. What? But, so what? Maybe... He, oh, so, do you know what? Things like this. Can he dance? Well, I've seen him, yeah. I've looked at some video of his... He can vaguely... I mean, I can vaguely dance Look, like Michael Jackson, dance. Look, if we're being honest. It would be ideal for, you know, you know, if people who want to see a show, like in a small town, someone wants to see a show and he just mouths the words. But why? It's not him. What's the point? I'd rather watch an old video of Michael Jackson performing. You've got tons well, of you got the lookalike. It's like, oh... We get the lookalike. I'm, I'm, it's true, you know. We do get the lookalike. You so, get the let, lookalike let's too. recap. So, he... He can't sing. Yeah. He can't sing like him. He can't produce the songs. He can vaguely dance. But I'll tell you what, he's great with kids. <laughs> <laughs> he's great with kids. So was Michael Jackson, <laughs> mate. He loves them. He loves He them. loves a bit of Home Alone. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, one. come on. Good, good bands. I mean, good bands for uh... but he, I mean, what's the best he thought that could happen? So he's walking around the supermarket and the most he's going to get goes, oh, he looks like. 
Is that Michael Jackson? He goes, yeah. So, yeah. Do you know what? How do you get paid That's for it. that? So, <laughs> basically, I guarantee you it's one of these things where if someone's having a party, they go, oh, listen, we've got Michael Jackson look like. What's that? Where he just stands at your party and you can take a photo with him? Go to Madame Tussauds and take a picture with some wax. Yeah, but this is the real thing, you know? Yeah, but it's, it's not the real thing, but it's close it's like enough. A, it's like there's a man in Argentina, right? <laughs> um, and he's dedicated his whole life to imitating John Lennon since he was the age of 15. Big up John his Lennon. His name's uh, Javier. What? Big up John Lennon. Yeah, oh, yeah exactly. Bangers. Yeah, he does. He does. But if I was interested in John Lennon, if I was, if I liked his music, I'll watch his videos. That's fine. Why am I going to go to ha- Javier or whatever his name is? Because he looks like John Lennon. People can reminisce. But also, this guy can can sing. Yeah. Right. So he's he's, he's never he's never Imagine been to Liverpool. All and... The people. Are you okay? Do you need? Do you need Mate, I'm, just, I'm just thinking. That was a, that was a great song. Imagine. Yeah, it's a great song, and he does a cover of that. <laughs> he does he? And he's he's yeah, he does. He's never been to Liverpool, but he can do the Scouse accent so well. You can't even tell. So I'm thinking, if you can sing, if you can play the piano, if you can play the guitar, why not just produce your own fucking songs? And as opposed to living your but life, the thing is like John no, Lennon. The thing is, he'll always be in the shadow of John Lennon. Stop! What do you mean? Why? Because he Stop looks singing like his songs. Him. Because he looks. No, but he goes all the way. He fixes his hair like him. He buys the same glasses. Yeah, he, he buys the same he outfit. He still looks like him. He's always gonna be in the shadow of John Lennon. Go Daft Punk. Daft. <laughs> put, a, put a mask on. <laughs> <laughs> that is stupid. Slip it's the most not. stupid put thing. A, <laughs> put a little fucking Halloween <laughs> mask on. Marilyn yeah, Manson. There you go. Boom. There you go. Then you make it to yeah. number one. No, but seriously, look. Nah. He looks like him. So there's no point of. Do you know what I mean? There's no point of trying to to do it because mm-hmm. they'll just think he's trying to live in the shadow of John Lennon. So he's he's thinking in his head, okay, let me just be an impersonator. I can sing, I can sing his songs, I can do covers yeah. and everything. But that's what he's probably thinking in his head. Because do you But don't you think it's a bit pointless? No. Don't you don't you agree that it's Look, look at Cher Lloyd. Remember Cher Lloyd? Oh, for, oh, from, right, yeah. from X Factor, yeah? Cher Lloyd, yeah. Cher Lloyd, Rachel, Adam, <laughs> Diversity, DG, <laughs> Alexandra Burke, <laughs> with a special guest appearance of JLS. Fuck yeah, hell. but remember Cher Lloyd? She yes. wanted to be Cheryl Cole at the time when Cheryl Cole was big, right? She wanted to be, so? and yeah, and Cheryl Cole made it. But where's Cher Lloyd now? But hold the on, only hold thing on. I remember, the, look, she tried to make her own brand, but the only thing I remember is from that fucking video. Who needs to floss her toilet after taking a shit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Hold on, hold because, on. Because I'm singing but, this by Cher Lloyd. That's the only time I remember. But hold on, that's different because they were in what was it X no, Factor? Not, she's trying, and to they have to sing. She's trying to make a career for herself, but she looks so much like Cheryl Cole. She didn't make it. No, she didn't make it because she was talentless. That's why she's going to produce her own no, songs. Not really. And nor it is pop Cheryl, music. No, nor can fucking Cheryl Cole. She Ooh, wanted to sing Oh, Taking a dig. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to name the episode that. Taking a dig at Cheryl Cole. Mate, I used to think or she was Or Tweedy. Because yeah, it's Cheryl Tweedy. Yeah, 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 Cheryl Tweedy. But, yeah, it's true, though. She came in and she had the same tattoo on her hand on X Factor oh, Hold on. No, she's trying to be her. you no, you're, 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 you're wrong. You're, there's a difference between a lookalike, like this Argentinian man, and this guy in America who, who uh, during the day, he's not even doing a gig. He's just walking around like Michael what Jackson. What I'm talking about is the John Lennon lookalike. <laughs> you're fucking melon. But it's both the same thing. You low IQ fuck. No, listen. How is it the same thing? How is it the same? It's not the same thing. Because you just said to me, my, the Michael Jackson lookalike just looks like Michael Jackson. He can't do and anything. And he dances. Oh, yeah, and he dances. mediocre. He can't sing at he all. He does. He does. Yeah, he does all the the popping he, and locking and all of that jazz. Do you know? He, every now and again, he goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but listen, it's true though, isn't it? So MJ, the MJ lookalike, can only look like him and do a shit dance. The John Lennon yeah. lookalike can sing. He does covers for John Lennon. Yeah, yeah and he and he does his own music. 
and I'm saying I'm saying they're both pointless. Is that's my point? I'm saying they're both rubbish. I know. Because if since he's the age of fifteen, he's been doing a tribute act towards John Lennon. He's now forty. Okay, good for him. And also, do you know what? <laughs> do you know what? He's also an ambassador for the autobiography being translated into his language. Good man. I mean, so look, he's oh, doing something with it. But if he won this, if he if he was to do try and make a music career, I'm not saying he would have, you know, failed, but. You know, he's he would have, yeah. He all right, there you go. He would have failed. You just said it, he would have failed because people would have yeah. seen this man. Oh, shit, he reminds you of John Lennon. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Right. He would have failed if, if if he continues to do this John Lennon vibe. If he no. did his own thing, if he did his own thing completely different, no. nothing to do with the Beatles and the 60s. He has, more, I, th- I think that's more honourable. Yeah, it's more honourable, but you got to remember, this guy's been doing this since he was 15. He's 40 yeah. now. He's made a career out of this. Yeah, he yeah. Has. Musicians, their career, how long does it last? Two years tops, if that? What, musicians? Yeah, okay, last Alex- years. Alexandra Burke. How long did that last? Hold on, hold on. But you said musicians. You know how big a musician is? That's she's so broad. Well, the thing is, she's a musician. She, where is she now? But you picked one musician out of the millions out okay, there. there you what go. is your Gareth point? Gates. Will Young. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bro, there's so many, man. There's... You're talking you're talking about pop idol winners <laughs> or runner up. That's what you're talking reg- about. Regardless. It's the same, but it's still someone who's trying to make it. Had a career, got to the top, got to the pinnacle. And pfft. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? However, but the Argentinian man, like I said, if he could just Use all this talent he has learning the piano, playing the guitar, singing, right? Do your own thing. He's done his Forget own John thing. Lennon. He's done his own thing. What, John Lennon? He's trying to be like John, John Lennon. Lennon. And it worked for oh him since he was 15. Days. Oh my what, days. Well, there you are. 40, uh, there you are. Look, he's found an audience. He's found he's someone found like yourself. audience. There you go. He's found an audience. And like, just like you. It. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fucking prick. Oh my. <laughs> You're oh my days. You're just well, stupid. That, You're no, just it's, stupid. it's true. It's facts. But um, yeah, no, that was enjoyable. I enjoyed that little debate with you. Because if I was next yeah. year, I'd, I think I'd punch you in the face. You could try, you could try. But remember, you are Filipino, but you're not. You're not Pacquiao. I'll stop. I'll fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> I will throw a chair at your head and laugh <laughs> and record it. You probably would. <laughs> I would. Banter, though. No, we wouldn't want to do that because you just get kicked no, out of the never... studio. No, I wouldn't want to do that because I'd never want to hurt yeah, you like that. Point. Never, ever. I just want to hurt you emotionally. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, the genius from Philippines. What is your article for this week? Okay. <laughs> and that was episode five of the BJ Report. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, kid. All right, cool. So, yeah, store. Mine is on. Um... So, this one is um, from... It's an American one. Oh, so, yeah. okay, so, good. Store, store manager lists world's last block, uh, last blockbuster on Airbnb for local residents. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he's listening. Bring it back. Bring back blockbuster. Yeah. So he, what he's done, he, he didn't want to close the store. So as Netflix and chill is such a big thing. Nowadays, yeah. he's turned his blockbuster store into, um, yeah, pretty much into like a ideal sleepover. If you want to take a lovely lady or or guy to this place and spend a weekend there to just watch movies, order food, yeah, it, it looks well, good. It's got carpets inside. It's got a sofa set up. <laughs> yeah, it's got carpets. <laughs> it's got a pillow. I'm not even joking. It's got everything. It's got everything. It's full Mental. set up. Look, have a look at. <laughs> Well, of course it has. It's it's been in the weekend yeah, there. It's fucking great, man. It looks so good. Does it have a toilet as well, I'm guessing? Yeah. yeah. It does have a toilet. Yeah, it's a shower. It's everything. And it's got a VHS. Oxygen. Does it have oxygen? Well Dickhead. done. Of course it's it has. It's got a VHS player as well. Now that is... Throwback. That is, that's a throwback. Oh my God. Do you remember the VHS players? Yes, I did. Oh. And we used to get stuck. Yeah, the kids, the kids nowadays will, uh, will never understand the hardship, you know, because they got Netflix, they got Amazon Prime, they got everything on their fucking smart TV. They're three clicks away from streaming any film they want. On <laughs> so true. We had to go out. We had to beg our parents to go sign up to Blockbusters exactly. or Apollo, or <laughs> oh what, either <laughs> Prime, right? 
What was it? And oh, then we had to Prime Video. And then we had to go back. We had to we had to go back, pick the film, pay for it, yeah, watch it, and take it then back take it two back. three days exactly. later. Exactly, that's the thing. We we nowadays yeah we complain about we complain about oh there's not much to watch there's not much to watch oh this is not HD oh. shut up yeah we had to go to Blockbuster watch the same film over and over again to get the most <laughs> of the most of your um you know most of your movie so I watched it like three yeah. times in a weekend yeah exactly you put that you put that on repeat exactly. Oh, mate, when I was a kid, I remember I used to beg my mum and dad to try and um, go Blockbuster and get um, get a rental for the weekend. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, okay. Yeah. So there was this one time when I was begging, pleading, they said, oh, let's get, a, let's get a video, let's get a video. And I was into like fantasy and stuff when I was younger. And right, okay. so I get, I get to this big Blockbuster and it was in, this was in Chiswick. There was a Blockbuster in Chiswick. Oh right! Yeah, yeah, oh, this was so it was far. I may it, it was far. That must have been a long walk from Hounslow. Dickhead. <laughs> it was far. So I was a kid, and I remember going there, and um, I, I see all these videos, and like you know, being nosy and stuff. When you're a kid, you're like looking at it eighteen, and you got like little yeah. the nudie ones. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it was. I bought. <laughs> I rented out the He-Man movie with Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess your parents love that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I rented out. I bet they were critiquing called, that it film was at the Masters end. Masters of the Universe, actually, with Dolph Lundgren. I was like, "Yeah, cool. I like He-Man. I like Skeletor. Let's give it a watch." I was living my best <laughs> life, but my parents, I don't think they. Uh, I think they wanted to chuck me off the balcony. To be fair, <laughs> yeah. I think they did at one point. <laughs> yeah, probably. That's why I got this uh, skull right here, mate. That's why you've got a permanent side party, no matter how long your hair oh, is. Dickhead. You could. <laughs> talk, you can't talk. You got a ball of fluff on your head, mate. It's dead. It's fashion. <laughs> Get out. Get out. You look like a fifty-year-old <laughs> man. It's okay. <laughs> mature. <laughs> He's a mature student. But yeah, mature so st- yeah, I watched. I remember the, the film. Three times. I remember when. It- I remember when I had to beg my parents to go uh, to Blockbuster. Oh, Apollo. We had Apollo. Because I used to live in West Norwood. And we had Apollo. And, um, in Kingston? No, West Norwood. I just said What the it. fuck is that? So do you know... what? Well, it's near Streatham. You said you're from Kingston. So you're lying to our audience. When I first... You're I lying the package, to the audience. The package, you're... when it came from Kosovo, my auntie was in West Norwood. When she opened it up, I, I, I basically was born in, in West Norwood. And then, after you know, the illegal papers, they were like, right, let's base him <laughs> in Kingston. So I spent very little time there. You st- um, <laughs> South London, man. So it was, it was, pretty, it was pretty rough. Um, so we went, I remember I rented out the Bean movie. The Bean. That's how you know, look, the age difference you can tell. Yeah, because you went with He Man. Yeah, exactly. Master and and I went with a good film. Back in the day, like, fuck. <laughs> yeah. But that, oh, man, I rented out Mrs. Doubtfire. Video. Oh, I don't like that film. You don't like Mrs. Doubtfire? I'm joking. Oh, I'm joking. My. Relax. You know what? Fuck this guy. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Fuck this guy. I'm no, he <laughs> did. Oh, fuck this guy. No, he's something else. Did you know, R.I.P. <laughs> Ron Williams. He made my childhood. Jumanji, Flubber. And all of those movies. Didn't you have a film Jack as well? Jack, that was a good film. <laughs> Great film. Yeah, but fuck that you. Was gr- well, I'm joking. I, I did watch joking. Mrs. Doubtfire. But um, yeah, Blockbuster. Imagine well, that. But nowadays, yeah. See, look, Blockbuster went wrong. They should have just switched over to what? like digital. Have you heard? Have you heard that story where uh, Blockbuster had the chance to buy Netflix, but they declined? Oh, that is fucking stupid, isn't it? So stupid. Now look at them. Exactly. Now they have to open up Airbnbs. Exactly. The losers. Exactly. Fucking people are just having. So in the smallest packet of popcorns for like seven pounds ninety two. It's like this is the, the smallest with packet. Airbnb anyway, you can just go fucking. You just go to the shop, come back, and you have all your shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you win your exactly. Best, you're, you're living your best life. It's so true, mate. But I don't get it. I, I mean, is this a very popular thing now that people are doing using Airbnb, Blockbuster? 
to watch VHS? Look, it's VHS. Wait, wait, <laughs> waiting for that minute and a half to rewind yeah. the film. <laughs> That's the thing. It's no, but it's uh, more of a. I think it's just like more of a vintage. It's like a throwback. Yeah, throwback. It's like slip. It's, it's like sorry. It's like stepping into the nineties. Yeah, literally. With your Nike Dunks and your multicolored Adidas tops. But but when you were let's say in your twenties back in the nineties, dickhead. Uh, how, how, how was it like for you back then? Because obviously, <laughs> you guys didn't have cassettes back in Philippines. Yeah, I know. We had um, <laughs> we had to make sounds from coconuts, like drums. Is it? No. Pretty. Okay. I wasn't born in Philippines. I was born in London. You melon. Fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs> at, at least at least didn't get defensive about it. Well. True. But no, but it's it's not that bad though, man. Look, it's nice little throwback. I think it would work. Um, but no, I don't think it'll work. What, what do you mean? Stupid. I think it's great. Having it well, as you're a, telling me you you're Airbnb. telling me you'd actually book you'd book the room in Airbnb 100%. to go to Blockbuster. Hundred percent. Where it has the floor, the pillow, and all the oxygen and everything all included. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh no, I think it's stupid. But a movie rental will cost you four three ninety nine. <laughs> Still charging the same then. That's why they went bust. <laughs> exactly. Mate, but um no, their stock's gone up though. Blockbuster mm. stock. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why that I is. I wonder why big up Reddit. Big up Reddit. Big up Reddit. <laughs> They're hacking the system. They are literally They're hacking, hacking the, system. the system. Pay them. Pay them. <laughs> There's a bit, there's quite a bit uh, subliminal messaging there, Barney. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, there is. Well, please tell us your thoughts. Yeah. You know, are lookalikes as important as society makes them out, or am I wrong? Um, is Blockbuster Airbnb going to work or not? Contact right. at thebjreport.com. Please, any emails you have, send them through. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't send anything on Twitter. Just let you know. <laughs> but uh, slide into our... No DM. more Twitter. <laughs> RIP to Twitter. Slide into our DMs for, for underscore the BJ report. So now that's all good. Um, yeah, no, I enjoyed this episode, you know, buddy. This was a good yeah, one. Yeah, this was energetic. I felt more banter. I felt more alive. It was good feedback from the guys. Because we have received a lot of complaints saying that Jericho isn't funny. Oh, my God. I'm not. Uh, that's the thing. I'm not funny. <laughs> I know I'm not, so that's they're saying. You know, fuck them. They're saying they should. They're saying you should be replaced by who? <laughs> oh my god! If, I'm not going to name. If, if you're going to try and replace me without fucking moron, you go ahead and do so. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you do that, mate. <laughs> yeah, bloody. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we can't. No. We will have. Uh, like I said, as we go forward, it is very difficult at this time in tier five to record face-to-face because we just can't do it it's we have fine. to use squadcast and it's a different dynamic the yeah. second we can get the chance to record face-to-face we're, we're going to record it and we're going to put it on youtube so you can see our faces as well yeah exactly you get to see the filipino see... man you get to see the <laughs> you get, you get, get to, to see, see fat the... pavarotti <laughs> <laughs> well fat pa- pavarotti was fat anyway yeah i know but it's fatter <laughs> pavarotti. <laughs> <laughs> with more hair and no talent <laughs> yeah there you go that's it do you know what I mean, oh, but dear. it's not—it's <laughs> not bad, mate. He's—he's he's all right. He's a good it's lad. A... We're all, you know what I mean, we 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 are uh, we vibing, we vibing, we're, we're feeling vibing. it. So um, yeah, just let us know. But it's different. It's still, it's, it's going to be different when it's face to face and recording. Yeah, so we're going to have some you, drinks. I'll have a fucking yeah, a few cups. I'll be doing tequila shots. I'll be going in. Se- yeah, he's gonna start shooting. Oh, am I not allowed to do that? <laughs> No, seriously. <laughs> of course Dude, you I can't. don't want the police over here again. That's what I'm <laughs> yeah, telling you now. True. I don't want them Nude over again. Bards. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it, I swear to God. I don't don't make me do it because I will woo. <laughs> <laughs> no, but well, perfect. Yeah, well, that was great. I enjoyed that, peeps. Perfect. Well, thank you for listening. This has been episode five of the BJ Report. As I mentioned, any feedback you have, good, bad. Please email us, contact at the BJ Report. And slide into our DMs at underscore the BJ Report. On Instagram, perfect. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye. Ciao for now.